section is about the variable storage in notebooks, and it is it is a very unique uh, and uh, different from the IDE we uh, are uh, we uh, already used. And let's see how it works. So uh, we have to uh, import some packages we may use here that that just execute this and this are and uh, we can see that I uh, do a time counting here that it is uh, IDE work. Or, uh, pers process because you know that. Oh, let's first uh, first close this. Okay, and uh, you can see that if you create a, a if you run your code in the IDE or uh, some uh, in the IDE that you every time every time you run the code you have to uh, reload the variables you have to reload reload the data especially the data it will be. Um, like sometimes the data is very large and it will take much time to load. And uh, we can see that, uh, can see run this, this cells and uh, you can see that I times a very large numbers to the uh, to the real time. And maybe it is just uh, the regular time for our big data, big data set when we uh, do deep learning. So it takes like uh, 6,000 times, 6,000 thousands, thousands, however, uh, in the notebooks, it, uh, once you uh, each cell is a separate process. Once you execute the cells, uh, uh, the cells, uh, the variables and the data you loaded will be will be stored, so that you don't have to. You, you especially when you debug, when you debug, uh, or, or when you lo uh, want to uh, reload the data or want to do something with the data, you don't have to reload it and it will save much time. That if we just load the data here and at the end, we can do everything you want about the data in the next in the next few uh, the next cells. And we can see that it almost takes 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 uh it almost will be executed immediately and it takes no time. So um the best things about the notebook, I think it is about it, but uh, about this properties also have some disadvantages is that uh, if you uh, if you write the same uh, same same variable name uh, that you have loaded here that you will overlap uh, the previous variables. You can see that I also use data and uh, then I print this here, this show diff uh, totally different things. Um, so you have to be very patient if you use this uh, use uh, some uh, some variables like x or y or a or b is very common and uh, you may wear well mistake it up and uh, it, it will be very harmful. So just pay attention. 